Serenaded by the sweet sounds of steel pan, tourists arrived in their numbers at the Port of Port of Spain earlier today. From various countries, they came on board the MSC Seashore, the largest cruise liner to arrive in this country thus far. So what does this mean for TNT's tourism sector, still struggling from the pandemic? Tourism Minister Randall Mitchell explains. Many tour operators, many taxi drivers, many maxi drivers, you know, gaining some gainful employment, especially after COVID, when everything was, was shut down um, because of the restrictions. So this is a very welcome initiative. It's welcome um, to see cruise lines back in the port of Trinidad and Tobago. But it's not only tourism that can benefit from this cruise line. MSC Cruises, which is a major player in the North American market, has vessels powered by LNG. On how this country can play a part in supplying LNG to cruise vessels, Minister Mitchell says. With respect to LNG, um, we already do have contracts. Um, the Minister of Energy will tell you. And there are contracts, fixed contracts, for supply of energy. And I'm sure wherever in Europe that they get their, energy, their LNG from, it is probably from Trinidad and Tobago. Additionally, the increase in cruises is also boosting other subsectors locally. Yes, there are linkages. I mean, we, we are linking not just the fuel and fuel bunkering. We are also linking provisioning. We have a large and very robust manufacturing sector here. So we are working with the cruise lines to ensure not only do we provide energy, not only do we provide labor, but we also provide some of the manufactured goods here in Trinidad to these cruise lines. About 3,200 passengers came on board the MSC Seashore. And in Latin America and the Caribbean received about $143 billion in foreign direct investment in 2021, 40.7% more than in 2020. But this growth was not enough to achieve the levels seen prior to the pandemic, according to the Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean. In the Caribbean, it notes, Guyana was the country that exhibited the greatest growth in inflows. Geisha Kaulesa Alonso, CNC3 Business Watch.